Welcome to Made in Alberta. In April 2009, we attended the opening of two new LRT stations in Edmonton. McKernan Belgravia, our first neighborhood style station, and the South Campus, at that time the southern end of the line. Today we're opening up the, uh, the latest extension of the LRT system and um, it's exciting for me because I was one of the station designers for, the, for one of the two stations that are opening today. We're also standing next to a multi-use trail which is one of the things we do when we do our LRT extensions. We always put a three meter wide or two and a half meter wide depending on the space uh, multi-use trail which allows people to cycle, walk, otherwise access our stations. And we're standing here looking south towards the next line that's going to open up and I'm actually the station designer for the Century Park station which is the last one on the line. So it's a big day. New opportunities are opening up in Edmonton for people to work professionally on projects that solve personal concerns about the environment or energy security. Many of these professionals are also volunteers who devote their personal time to raising awareness and getting things started. I think engineers in general are like everybody else. We're starting to see the need to move towards more sustainable designs, uh, more sustainable methods of moving people, housing people, getting people to and from work. When society tells us what to do, we'll do it and we'll try to do it the best way we can. I'm heavily involved in uh, Solar Energy Society of Canada, the Northern Alberta chapter. I chair of that organization. And uh, my interests are passive solar, active solar now that the cost of PV is coming down dramatically, and uh, of course wind power. It's pretty exciting times for those of us who have been waiting for the opportunity to get into renewable energy. Obviously we're getting near the end of the oil era and, uh, and that's always been one of my first focuses but now that the greenhouse gas emissions appear to be causing significant problems worldwide it's, it just seems to be morphing into, uh, into stuff we have to look at very carefully. It's April 2010 and the city is opening two new stations on our southern line fulfilling the promise of transit-oriented development and a more sustainable city. I'll see you next time. And for now, let's join the young musicians of U22 as we celebrate this historic achievement. One, two, one, two, three, four. Close your eyes and dream about the way that it Cause I don't ever